Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So instead of us seeing this boring page over and over again, let's add something that looks nice because we know that we already have a template. So all we need is to put it here. Now, in logical terms, yes, since we have our views here, down here, you see, um, now, like I've said, this thing we've created so far, you can reuse it in any other projects. You don't need to start from scratch. So please save it on the side and then you can, so that you don't have to start from scratch next time you're doing a project. In fact, once we create a model system here where we put at least one model in here or in the core, we put the main model in the core or the user's model here. At that point, you can uh, save it as a complete framework and then delete all the views, delete all the controllers except the home and 404. And then you can start from scratch in another project. So for now, we just want to modify the home view. The home view only has this, but instead we have templates here, yes? And this is in the Zen blog. So let's click down the line here up to the index.html page, which is right here. Very nicely done. I'm going to copy everything from this and just go to my uh, home view and then select everything and paste. Let's save that. So now if I refresh this, look at that. We have this here, but of course it doesn't look like what we want it to look like. And why is that? Mm -hmm. Let's find out. So here I'm going to right click and there's supposed to be images here at least, right? But the images don't seem to be loading very well. So uh, we need to fix that. So the reason this looks like this is because the CSS and the only the HTML has loaded. The CSS and the images and the JavaScript files have not loaded. If I inspect the element here, that's how you can know. Go to the console.log or the console. <laughs> now, if you are using, um, what's this, Chrome, uh, the developer tools might be here or somewhere else, but you can right click and say inspect anyway, and then click on the console. So as you can see, there's a lot of errors here going on. Uh, there's a style sheet that was not loaded. It's saying because blah, 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 but that's not true. It's just because it can find it. So there's bootstrap. Yeah, because this is of course a bootstrap um, based template. Uh, the CSS bootstrap, there's all this here, bundle, blah, 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 blah. all these files are not found. So what we would do instead is uh, now, because we have two templates that we want to put in one, it would be a good idea to create a folder in the assets folder for each of these. So what I'll do here is, uh, let's go back here. Uh -huh. So if you look at the bottom here, we have assets, vendor, blah, blah, blah. Now, these things are relative to the home view page here, right? But the problem is we've put this here, uh, the home view is here, but the assets are in here in the Zen, Zen blog uh, folder itself. So it can not get to these guys. Now, I don't want to link to these. I want to move these guys instead into the public assets folder. So I'm going to copy these assets from Zen blog here. So I'm going to, let me just say right click and say open containing folder. Um, so this is Zen blog and then there's assets, right? Let's look at forms here, what's here? We don't need any PHP files. We'll make our own PHP, thank you very much. But we have this assets thingy here and then it has CSS, image, vendor, everything we need here, right? So let's copy this folder, copy. This is Zen blog. So let's go to Udemy and public and assets. Now in here we have the CSS, fonts, image. We already did this, but we will ignore this for now. What we will do is we'll create a folder in here called Zen blog. Now you can call this anything you want. I just want to identify which template is which, which CSS files belong to which template so that 
I know where to link when I'm uh, putting this stuff in my view for file. So then I will paste everything here. Boom. There's assets there. So Zen block. So the, the path now has become like this. There's, uh, I think we don't need to go to assets. Hmm? Maybe what we can do instead. Yeah, because the path has become longer now. Assets, blah, blah, blah. This is too long. <clears throat> Let's cut this. So I'm going to put it directly in the public folder. So the Zen blog, public Zen blog, then assets, and then there we go. Okay, that's a shorter uh, path. So now all I need to do is link these guys to the right place. Now, keep in mind that we are linking things from the public folder. Okay, everything is relative to the public folder. So from the public folder, how do we get to the assets in here? So we are going to go through Zen blog and then assets, right? So I'm just going to replace anything that says href assets like this. I'll select one of these and pr press control F. I think if you're using um, control D, sorry. If you're using notepad plus plus, it should be control shift D, but here it's control D. So I'll Keep pressing Ctrl D until I select all the assets, right? So here are the assets that we are getting. Wait, this is the wrong thing. <laughs> Ooh, I should be on the home view page. So make sure you're in the home.view.php and then select source. Let's start with source and then assets, right? Or let's just select wherever there's assets slash like this so that we get even the href versions, okay? For the images as well there we go so i'm just pressing ctrl d to select everything until it stops doing that all right so now that we've selected all the assets slash i can just press the left arrow key now to go to the first to the beginning and then i can type zen blog sorry slash so now it becomes zen blog slash assets now keep in mind it's relative to the public folder so public folder zen blog assets so this should work so i'll refresh and as you can see it seems to have worked look at that everything looks honky dory mm -hmm. very nice so now we finally have at least one view that's working and uh yes this will work very well if i click on about yeah, the problem is the links here lead to HTML pages. So if I click on contact, I'll get this call to undefined method 404 view. Wait a second. This should not happen. Now, the reason it's happening, it's saying the function 404 view does not exist. And this is because the 404 controller does not extend the main controller so it should have this as well so it has the views function so let's go here to 404 and let's extend it uh -huh. this should solve this error page not found but you know this is not so cool we have a page not found that is created by our thingy here so what i'll do is i'll go back to zen blog of templates so in templates here there's the about Category is it? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There should be a page not found. Where is it? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. What I'll do is let me uh, let me right click and open containing folder. Let me open the index here. Okay but there should be a 404 somewhere. Wow, seriously, there's none. Oh boy, no 404 page. Uh -oh. Anyway, it's fine. We can create our own from what we have here. No problemo. I think what has the 404 page is the, um, is the other template. Nice page, nice admin. This one right here. This one was clever enough to put a 404 page. Look at that. 
Mm. You need this, you know. 404, the page you're looking for was not found. You know, this is basic stuff. Anyway, we'll design our own, not to fear. We shall design. Okay. So instead of this page not found, that's okay. At least now the page not found is not is working. We'll put a page not found of our own here. But at least now things are running here. We have this working. But there's a problem. Let me show you the problem right here. If I go to home and say slash, maybe I want to put some extra params here and say uh, anything. I'll just say this slash this. Look at that. Everything is gone again. So what's really going on here is this. You see the URL here is looking for images in the folder home slash this. And that folder does not exist. So it does, it, it assumes that home slash this, and then it puts slash Zen blog at the end. Let me show you that in the page source. So if I right click and save view page source, Let's go down and look at what's going on. Oh, actually, it doesn't even show here. What will make you see it is if I try to hover on a link. Let's say this link, which is the... Hmm. This thing is trying to... Uh, yes. So you see the link here. If I click on this one, this is supposed to go to single post. But instead of being public slash single post, watch the bottom here. Uh, instead of being public slash single post, it's public slash home slash single post. So it's assuming that home is an actual folder and this is where it's searching for the images. So this becomes the base slash home and then it's going slash Zen blog slash assets. So anyway, to avoid this problem, we have to give it an absolute uh, link to these images. We have to give it an absolute value instead of a relative path we have to give it an absolute path and tell it from the beginning that it should look inside localhost slash udemy slash public slash zen blog etc etc so it doesn't have to guess because it's guessing wrongly here so let's refresh this page again and see nothing is happening here so let's do the replacement we go back to our home view here where we replaced all this with zen blog so instead of that what we will do is, it's still selected, right? If it's not, just do an undo. And then it will undo that. And then you can type something new. So what you do is, before assets, we'll put a constant called root. Now, I'm going to have to echo this from PHP. So I'll put some PHP tags and put equal sign because that means uh, echo. So I'll put root like this, capital and close. Now we haven't created this variable called root, but we are just assuming we have so we can use it. So there we go. Root slash. Now this root will represent the public folder through the server. So this is important. This is not a C. The path is not C slash ZAMP slash. No, no, no. The path is localhost slash Udemy slash. So this is like the server um link like www dot if it was on a live server dot your website dot com that's what root will represent and then let's do a slash after that root and then put zen blog this time and then slash okay so root directory slash zen blog slash asset this should work but we don't have root yet let's add it to our config file so let's go to core config now you always have to remember to change this one Okay, because root will determine the root of your website. So let's do this root. Now the root in my case is this, localhost, full colon, wait, is that how it works? No, 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 no. Let's do this, HTTP, <laughs> let's do the whole thing, right? Slash, slash, localhost, slash, Udemy, slash public now don't put a slash at the end there no 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 sir because we will be putting the slash on our own because normally uh when you're online 
the dot com doesn't come with a slash so we have to maintain that now the only problem is this root will have to be changed when we go to our live server so instead of putting it here i will put it right over here so i'll call this one root path okay that's the root path um, eg localhost something like that okay so this way at least we get a different root path depending on whether you're localhost or you are on the live server so here eg uh, https www.yourwebsite.com so that's what you're going to put here when you get to your actual website online so you put that there so that it's used as the root path so from this we should be golden because now we have absolute links to the thing so let's refresh that and problemo solved now if i inspect any of these let's inspect this image right here i'll say inspect let me enlarge this you will see what's going on here right the link to this image is http slash localhost slash udemy slash public slash zen blog assets, image, post, and so on. So if this didn't work for you, just inspect one of the images and see what the root path is and you'll find that the path is incorrect if it didn't work. If the path is correct, things will work as normal. Okay, so at least things are working now. We can load our home page. We can load any page at this point using this method. Okay, but we need to separate things like the, uh, the header, and the footer because we don't want to be adding all this on every page right we just need one of these so that when we change one the whole website changes okay so at this point at least we have a home page this is nice that what we need now is to create our login and sign up so we can sign up and login users 